Let's take a look at linear equations, find the equation line of the T84 plus calculator. Okay, so our first problem. Uh, we've got two points, and it says find the equation line and pass this through those points. So we've got um, 3, 2, and negative 4, 1. Not necessarily the easiest thing to do on a, a calculator. If you're big in technology, you might find it very simple. Um, but it does open up some uh, other ideas uh, with the calculator that gets into linear modeling. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my stat button. And I'm going to go into edit. So I just go ahead and press enter on edit. And you may or may not have numbers here. Um, to get rid of those numbers, you press delete on them. And each time you press delete, it'll get rid of that number. I'll go left arrow over to here, and I'll delete on those. There's a easier ways to clear the list, but that's a, probably the safest. Now make sure you don't have a list uh, highlighted when you press delete. Like if I see how I have L1 highlighted now, I press my up arrow. If I press delete now, it'll delete your list, and the L1's gone. Well, if you come in, I'm doing second mode, exit out. If you come into stat, and you go into edit, and you notice L1 is gone. This process uh, is looking for your numbers in L1 and L2. Well, what you do is you up arrow, highlight L2. Then we're going to do second delete to choose the insert. And notice it inserts a list. And then it's asking us for the name. And you see above 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it says L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, L6. Well, to get to L1, we're going to do second 1. And you should see L1 appear down here and then you press enter and your list is back now this uh, same technique applies uh, if you delete L2 use, use the same idea okay so I'm gonna put my X values in L1 my Y values in L2 so I'll put 3 here and I'll put 2 here uh, and then I'll put negative 4 here and I'll put 1 here so again, x value is now 1, y value is now 2. I'm going to exit out, so I do second mode. Now this next uh, step I'm going to show you, you only have to do one time. And then your calculator uh, stays this way from now on. We want to go into the catalog. And you see the catalog is above the 0, so we do second 0. Then you want to down arrow until you find diagnostics on. Um... There it is. Once your little uh, cursor, little markers next to diagnostic on, then you press enter and enter again. Then it'll say done. Now your calculator is set up for this. You don't have to do, it, uh, do that particular step uh, ever again. Okay, we just entered our numbers in. I'm going to go into stat, go into calc, and I want to choose linear regression. So I'm going to choose number four. And then I'll press enter. Now this is going to be our answer. Y is equal to AX plus B. That's our um, slope intercept form. And we're going to plug in the A right there. And we'll plug in the B right there. So Y is equal to AX plus B. Now I don't really want decimals though. So let's see it. Let's change those to fraction. If I go to VARs. And um, we want to choose statistics, number 5. So I just press 5, the number that's in front of it. I want to go over to equation. And here's A. So I'll press 2, the number in front of it. And then I'm going to do math, enter, enter. And that's 1 7th. Now B. I go back to VARs. I want to choose 5 for statistics. I want to write her over the equation, and this time I want B. So I'll do 3, and then I'll do math, enter, enter. Uh, there. So we get Y is equal to 1 7th X plus 11 7 And that would be our answer. Okay, our second uh, example. We got um, 4 fifths. 
and m is equal to one half. It says find the equation line passes through a given point with a given slope. Now remember for your slope, slope is change in y over change in x. Well, our change in y is one, um, and this is our x value and this is our y value. So uh, change in y is a one, a positive one. That means we can add one here. And that's to the y value. Now this is a uh, change in x is a positive two. That means we can add two to the x value. So we can have a second point that's uh, six, six. So now we have two points. Same as the first problem. So let's go plug that in. I press clear to clear that. I go into stat, enter on edit. Again, I'm going to press delete to clean those out. Left or over, I'll press delete again to clean those out. Uh, then I'll do 4, and then I'm going to put 5 over here. Again, my x value is going L1, my y value is going L2. Then 6 here, and 6 here. Exit out, do second mode, and then I'll go to stat, right arrow to calc, and I'll choose linear regression. Press 4, and then I'll press enter. Again, our answer is y is equal to ax plus b. They tell us a is 0.5. I could go through the same process uh, to change that to fraction, and I will. But we know what it is anyway, because they told us m was 1 half. So we've got y is equal to 1 half x, and b was a positive 3. So that would be our answer. Okay. Now let me just show it just so you see... Um, more steps on this. To change a to a fraction, we do bars. Want to choose statistics, so we choose the five that's in front of it. Right arrow over the equation. I want to choose a, so I choose the two in front of it. And then I'll do math. Enter, enter. Okay. Let's look at our third example. It says we got eight, negative one. And y is equal to 7x plus minus 2. The instructions say find the equation line that passes through the given point and is parallel to the given line. Well, if you have this in slope intercept form, slope intercept form is what we got y by itself. So y equals. Uh, then your slope of this line is going to be whatever number is in front of your x. So your sl slope is 7. Now, um, Parallel uh, means that uh, the slope we're trying to find is equal to this. So uh, we're just going to work with 7. Now I want this in fraction form. And if it's already in fraction form, you can always put over 1. Now remember, this is the change in y over the change in x. That means I'm going to add 7 to my y value. Remember, this is your x and this is your y. And I'll add 1 to my x value. So a second point I can use would be 9, and negative 1 plus 7 is 6, so 9, 6. Now at this point, this is like our, our previous problem. So let me uh, go into stat, go into edit, delete on those, left arrow over, delete those, and I got 8, and over here up with negative 1, and then I'm going to have 9 and 6. Again, max values go in uh, L1, Y values go in L2. Second mode, exit out, and I'll do stat, right arrow to calc, and choose 4 for linear regression. And then press enter. It doesn't look like this one. I need to change to a uh, fraction. Remember, our answer is Y is equal to AX plus B, and they tell us A is 7. And B, they tell us, was negative 57. And that's our answer. Let's look at our fourth example. We got negative two, five, and it's perpendicular to three x plus eight y is equal to four. Now we want this in slope intercept form, so let's uh, do that first. 
we'll take the uh, 3x and move it over to the right side. Anytime you take anything across your equals, your sign changes. So the uh, positive 3x becomes a negative 3x plus 4. We want to divide everything by 8 to get the y by itself. And so we get y is equal to negative 3 eighths x plus 4 eighths reduces to 1 half. So our slope is negative 3 eighths. Now perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals. What that means is you start with the slope that you found here and you want to write it in fraction form. Well, it's already in fraction form. Um, remember our previous uh, example? If we had like 7 or 8, uh, you put 8 over 1. If you had 9, you put 9 over 1. So you'll create a fraction if it's already 1. And then we flip it. Top goes to bottom, bottom goes to the top. So this becomes 8 over negative 3. That's the reciprocal part. Reciprocal means fraction flipped. And then we change its sign. Um, so this would be a positive 8 thirds. So that's the M of what we're trying to find. Well, again, the top is changing Y, the bottom is changing X. So it means we're going to add 8 to the Y value. This is X, and this is Y. And we're going to add 3 to the Y value. We haven't seen any example where we had a negative in here, but it would be the same idea. If this was a negative 8, then we would subtract 8. So a second point we can use, we've got negative 2 plus 3 is 1, and 5 plus 8 is 13. Now we're back to um, having two points. So I'm going to go to stat, go into edit, delete to clean those out. Okay, negative 2, 5, so negative 2. I'll put 5 in. And then 1 and 13. Again, your x values go in L1, y values go in L2. Exit out, do second mode. Then I go to stat, right arrow to calc, and I will choose linear regression. So I do the four that's in front of it. And then press enter. Now, um, as before, our answer is y is equal to ax plus b. But we don't want um, decimals. And you see these both have decimals. So we're going to change those to fraction. So press VARS, I want you to statistics, press 5 that's in front of it. Right arrow over the equation, and I want you to, first I'll work with A, so I'll do 2. And then math, enter, enter. That's 8 thirds. I want to do B. So do VARS, and I'll choose 5 for statistics. Right arrow over the equation, I'll choose B, which is 3, and then math, enter, enter. And that gives us 31 thirds. And that's our answer. Now, by the time you get to college algebra, um, you're probably pretty comfortable with linear equations. Um, how useful is this? Well, it, if you get more into linear modeling, working with um, that, then, then this kind of introduces you, gets you used to thinking along those lines and, and so forth. Um, but anyway, that's uh, working with linear equations, um, finding equation line on a T84 plus cockpit.